5, which says solve the equation. Now, this is a simultaneous equation that has a um what looks like a quadratic equation inside it. So for you, um, most times I feel the best way to solve this question is always by substitution method. So we will be dividing our book. So let's divide our page into three because this is going to be a long equation. So now it says um, from equation one, let's call um, x plus 3y equal to 13, equation 1. And we're going to call x squared plus 3y squared equal to 43, equation 2. So I'll say from equation 1, I'll say um, x is equal to 13 minus 3y. And I'll say this is equation 3. I'll say put equation 3 in 2. So wherever I see x, I'm going to write 13 minus 3y. So this means, um, instead of writing x squared now, right? 13 minus 3y all squared plus 3y squared is equal to 43. Now this means 13 minus y minus 3y all into 13 minus 3y plus 3y squared is equal to 43 okay so we're going to expand the bracket so this is going to be um this is going to be 13 multiplied by 13 it's going to give us um that's um 169 13 multiplied by 3 it's going to give us 39 minus 39y minus 3y times 30 will give us minus 39y then minus 3y times minus 3y will give us plus 9y squared plus 3y squared is equal to 43. Okay, so at this point we have um, 169 minus, minus 39y minus 39y, that's 39 multiplied by 2 is supposed to give us, um, that's um, 78, so this will be minus... 78y plus 9y squared plus 3y squared will give us um, 12y squared is equal to 43. Okay, so at this point, I can write this at 12y squared minus 78y. Um, this will now be plus 169 minus 43 is equal to 0. So this is going to give me 12y squared minus 78y. Um, now 169 minus 43. So let's bring in our calculator. Oh, okay. So from that, we can say um, this is going to be a positive number. 9 minus 3 is going to give us um, 6. 6 minus 4 is going to give us um, 2 and we have our 1. So it's 126 is equal to 0. Okay, so at this point, what can divide through? I think um, 6 should be able to divide through. 6 into 12y squared should give us um, 2y squared. Divide through by 6 to reduce it. So this will be minus. 6 into 78 will be 13, that's 13y, 13 plus 6 into 126, 6 into 12 is 2, 6 into 6 is 1, is equal to 0. So, we have a quadratic equation. Now, we need to solve this quadratic equation. And for me, I would prefer you use the formula method which says minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Remember here, your a is 2, your b is minus 13, and your c is going to be plus 21. So this is going to be minus minus um, b. b will be, okay, this will be 13 plus or minus square root of, our uh, b squared is minus 13 all squared minus 4 times 2 times 21 all over 2 times 2. Now, this is going to give us 13 plus or minus square root of, okay, 13 squares will give us 169. Uh, this will be minus uh, 4 times 
2 is 8. 8 times 21. Okay, 8 times 21. It's going to be, um, that's 168. Okay, all over 4. Now, this is going to give us 13 plus or minus. Um, square root of 169, this will be square root of 1 all over, we we'll have 4. So, this is going to give us 13 plus or minus 1 all over 4. Okay, now, I want you to understand that there are two possible answers you could get in this question. Now, the two possible answers are the um, reason for the plus and the minus. So, remember we're looking for our y. We could say y could be equal to 13 plus 1 over 4, which is um, equal to, this is um, 14 over 4, which is the same thing as um, 7 over 2. Or, you say, this is, let's call this, or y could be 13 minus 1 over 4, which would be, this is 12 over 4, and that will give us 3. So, y has two possible values, which are 7 over 2 and um, 3. Now, this has one meaning. It means your x is going to have two possible values. Now, to get our x, to get x, insert x, y as 7 over 2. So, remember in our equation 3, we said x is equal to 13 minus 3y. So this would be x would be 13 minus 3 into um, 7 over 2. So this would be x would be 13 minus 21 over 2. Take your LCM. So you have 2. Um, 2 into 1. We have 2. 2 into 13 is uh, 26. This would be minus 21. So we have our x to be 5 over 2. Okay? Then, you can also say insert y to be um, 3. So we have x will be 13 minus 3y. x will be 13 minus 3 times 3. And x will be 13 minus 9. And therefore, x here is going to be um, 4. 4. Okay, so um, now we've gotten this, we cannot say our final answer at this point, it's um, for x comma y, we can say at this point it's going to be 4 comma, when x is 4, y is 3, then for here, our x comma y, it's going to be, remember when our x was 5 over 2, our y gave us um. 7 over 2. So, these are the possible solutions. Okay, let me write that so that you can see it clearly. So, I can say x comma y will now be x comma y will be either 5 over 2, 7 over 2 or you can say x comma y to be 4 comma 3. So any of these it's a solution to the equation. So you're going to have two possible answers because this is a simultaneous equation that has um, the quadrant.